is what I call the big rig. This huge tank right here will allow me to dive down and I'll be able to stay at the bottom of the river for at least an hour and a half to two hours. So hopefully with that amount of time, I can find some really cool stuff to share with you guys in today's video. But I also have my dive fins, my goggles with a camera on top, and I also have my little treasure box. Anything cool I find, I'll put it in this little box and then I'm gonna review everything at the end of the video. Real quick, before we get out there and start scuba diving, I wanna let you guys know, today's video is sponsored by World of Warships. World of Warships is free to play and it's called the Thinking Man's Action Game because it's the perfect balance of action and strategy. You can command a massive naval fleet featuring some of history's most iconic war vessels. As you play, you can unlock new ships and dominate the oceans with seven million players worldwide. This is actually pretty cool because each ship in the game is actually based off a 3D scan of a real life ship and it's designed with incredible attention to detail, making the battle as realistic as possible. Weather effects make each battle unique and change the tactics of every battle. World of Warships is constantly updating the game, so there's something new to experience with a steady cadence of new missions, game updates, and events. Like I said, this game's free to play. If you guys click the link below to play World of Warships, you guys can collect a special bonus starter pack. New users can register with the code play warships 2018 so if you guys use my discount code you receive 250 to blooms 1 million credits hms campbelltown premium ship one port slot and three days premium time well big thanks to world of warships for sponsoring today's video i'm gonna get out there start diving and see if we can find some cool stuff Oh my gosh!
This is actually a pretty cool bottle. I started collecting old bottles lately and this is actually a pretty cool looking one. a mug <laughs> that's cool actually oh, there's a hole in it dang disappointing so we just got done scuba diving and actually found some pretty cool stuff really excited to show you guys some of my favorite finds from today's dive so like i said earlier my scuba tank it, being that it's so big it allows me to stay at the bottom of the river for about an hour and a half to two hours and with that amount of time i was able to take my time and just look everywhere at the bottom of the river and i came across five phones man look at this all these are pretty old and none of them were iphones but i think the best phone i found today definitely has to be the samsung phone i found five phones that today man like that's insane <laughs> cool story with this one. I actually found this by the railroad bridge. It's like stuck in a crack. I pulled it out and there's seriously no telling how long that thing has been in there for, man. My second favorite find definitely has to be this old fidget spinner. It doesn't move anymore, but uh, it's still kind of cool to find a fidget spinner in the river. Every time I find stuff in the river, I'm always thinking like how that person lost it. And the only way I think this person would lose this in the middle of the river is maybe they were whitewater rafting and they couldn't survive the entire day without their fidget spinner. <laughs> This is a pretty cool find. I actually found a little minion toy. I bet the little kid was crying when he lost it. How unfortunate, but I got me a new toy. <laughs> so behind me is Whitewater Express rafting, and I actually found a Whitewater Express season pass from 2014 though. So I don't think I'm gonna get free rafting. <laughs> I found two more golf balls today, and I get so excited every time I find these, man. Honestly, probably some of my favorite things to find in the river. <laughs> so this is another cool find I found, and this is more of a wild card. I have no idea what this is, but it was super shiny underneath the water, and I was thinking it might be a big ball of like silver or something. But I carried it around with me the entire day, and I hope it's worth something, and uh, it'd just be a crazy story if it is. So I'm gonna take this into the shop and go test it for maybe silver. I don't know what that is, but uh, that would be crazy, dude. That'd be such a cool story. I'm drawing in the river right now. What? There's a guy flying a drone near the zip on tower and he crashed into the river. No way. I didn't find that today, but can you imagine if I found that today? That would be crazy. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go out there and see if I can find that missing drone 
and uh, that would be an unbelievable find, man. I've actually only found, I think, two other drones in my lifetime. If you guys are new and you want to see tomorrow's adventure where I hunt down this lost drone, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss that adventure. I'm going to come out tomorrow with my scuba gear. I'm going to fill up all the air again, and hopefully I can come across that drone, man. That would be so cool. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.